Read codes are a simplified standard way of grouping all different types of injury diagnoses. Using read codes helps us to make sure we're covering the right injuries and enables our kiritaki, our clients, to access the support, treatment and rehabilitation they need. Read codes also help us to analyse patterns in the way that accidents happen so we can try and prevent similar injuries from happening in the future. When you lodge a claim or update a diagnosis for your patient, you need to choose a read code that best matches the diagnosis or the type of injury. When you use the right read codes, we can make decisions regarding cover and supports. There are over 12,000 read codes to choose from, which can make it difficult to choose the right one. To help with this, I'm going to share with you how to find the right read code and what to do if you can't find the right read code. There are a couple of ways you can find a read code. Your practice management system may have the codes within it, or you can also find them on our website. There you can search for the most common read codes by either injury type or by speciality. For sensitive claims, you can simply use the read code SN571. If you can't find a read code to match your diagnosis, you can use the read code that most closely reflects the physical injury. Make sure you include a written diagnosis in the injury comment field and we'll find the best code for the injury you've described. If your patient has a suspected injury diagnosis but imaging has not been done yet to confirm it is there, use the closest injury read code. You can explain the injury further by including what you suspect in the injury comments field. For example, you might provide a diagnosis of an ankle sprain using the read code S550 dot, advising either the right or left ankle and leaving a note in the injury comment section, suspected fracture awaiting imaging. Select a read code that represents the physical injury, not the symptoms you find. For example, sciatica is a set of the symptoms, not the injury responsible for those symptoms. So the read code for back sprain may be what you initially choose to represent the injury. Read codes that describe the cause of the injury, such as fall, don't provide us with the right information about the injury your patient has sustained. Non-specific injury read codes, such as injury to the thigh, is too broad and will mean we need to come back to you to clarify. Remember, if you're not sure, use the injury comment field and we'll find the best code for the injury you described. So there you have it, how to choose the right read code. Thanks for watching.